All right, folks, it is officially week four of the NCAA college football season. Time for my weekly picks heading into the final week of football in September. Actually, no, that's not true because September 30th is the last day of college football in September. Well, you know what? doesn't matter. Honestly, it doesn't. That's life. Wow, I'm kind of not holistic this week. That's great. All right, so we're starting off with our Thursday game. Temple taking on South Florida. It looks like uh, South Florida is a 20 and a half point favorite. Over under is 110. Oh, well, no, it's not. The over under is 63. Um, yeah, I think South Florida wins. But it's not going to be by 20 points for sure. Then they went by like a field goal. So go South Florida, definitely take the points and keep it slightly under 63. It'll be all right. Utah taking on Arizona on Friday. Utah is a three-point favorite, and the over-under is 61. It's going to be under 61. I think Utah, even in enemy territory, can probably win by at least a touchdown. So go on the line, take Utah, take the points, and just move along. Now we got North Carolina at Florida State. First Florida State game in two weeks because of the hurricane. Florida State, 13-point favorite. Over-under is 51 and a half. Yeah, I'll say keep it under 51, and uh, Florida State, they're going to win by 14 points, 20 points. They're really out there chopping at the bit to make an impression, so I think there's no reason to go against them on that one. Kent State, Louisville, this is going to be my shoe-in of the week, because anytime you have a college football team that gets drubbed by a top-ranked team, usually the next week they're trying to make an impression of some kind, just take it out on whatever Bush League school they're playing. So yeah, Kent State, you're about to get massacred. Oh, whoa. Ooh, it was very poor wording choice on my behalf. But yeah, Louisville, they're going to absolutely cream this team. Uh, right now, Louisville is favored by 44 points, um, which is astronomical. Opener is 56 and a half. I think it's going to be over. And you know what? I actually think that, well, I mean, Louisville's going to win, but it's a matter of they win by 44 points. That's a huge, huge margin. Um... I think they win by like 28 points or 30 points, but 44 was way too high. So Louisville wins outright. Keep it under 56 and a half, but give the points to Kent State. I think uh, Louisville doesn't cover. So put your money on them, and you'll be a very dandy boy. Uh, UNLV against Ohio State. Ohio State's going to crush them. Uh, they're 40 and a half point favorites over under 63 and a half. I'm going to say keep it uh, above because I think Ohio State alone can get that many points. They're not going to win by 40 points. It's just way too high. I think they win by like 30 or 35, but not 41 points. So Ohio State wins outright, but take UNLV in the point spread. Moving along, Old Dominion against Virginia Tech. And this is almost kind of sort of a trap game. Virginia Tech is favored by 28 points. Old Dominion, not really that bad of a football team so far we've seen this year. Over-under is 57. I'm going to say keep it under, and I think Virginia Tech wins, but it's going to be close to like 14 or 20 points and not 28. So VT will win outright, but for the spread, take the points for Old Dominion. USC against California Golden Bears. This is my upset of the week. I'm taking Cal to beat USC outright. So let's look at the 16.5 point spread for Cal. I think uh, California can win by like a touchdown in this game. It wouldn't surprise me. So definitely go with California to take the points. Take California to win outright. Over under 63 and a half. I'm going to say keep it above because there's going to be a lot of points scored in this one. And the Golden Bears get the upset. Uh, Boston College at Clemson. Clemson's going to win this one no matter what. They're 34 and a half point favorites. 51 and a half over under. I'm going to say keep it under. Yeah, I think uh, Clemson's going to win by 35 points. This one is going to be a thrashing. Toledo at Miami, and this could be one of like the most surprisingly good games of the entire college football season. Rockets, they are undefeated. Miami obviously having their first name since Hurricane Irma struck Florida. Miami is a 14-point favorite. Over under is 57 and a half. I want to say keep it under 57 and a half. This is going to be a very low-scoring game. And I think Miami does win, but they only win by a field goal. So it's going to be a very, very close one. So Miami wins outright, but take Toledo in the points. TCU against Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State should cream them. They're 11 and a half point favorites. They win by like 14 or even 18 points. Maybe like 20 something. That wouldn't surprise me either. Over under 68 and a half. Uh, yeah, let's go over because these guys always have shootouts. But Oklahoma State should win outright and they'll cover the spread. Nothing to worry about there. 
Alabama and Vanderbilt. Uh, Vanderbilt undefeated, Alabama undefeated. Uh, one of these teams is going to be undefeated after the game, and it's going to be Alabama. Don't even think about trying to be uh, all adventurous and go with Vanderbilt in this one. Alabama's an 18 and a half point favorite. Over under is 43 and a half. I think Alabama covers that spread easy. Over under is going to be 43 and a half. I'm going to say go slightly over. No reason for the tie to not win this one. Michigan at Purdue. Once again, I think it's going to be a very close game. I think uh, Michigan wins, but it's not going to be by 10 points. They're going to win by like 6 points, 3 points maybe. Uh, touchdown at the absolute most. Over under 52. I'm going to say keep it. Under, because none of these teams really score that many points. Michigan wins outright. They do not cover the spread, so go with Purdue. Uh, Nevada and Washington State. Uh, Nevada hasn't won a game yet. Washington State hasn't lose. And, uh, yeah, pretty much the same story here. I think Washington State wins. They win by 28 points. That's that's a tough one. I'm going to say they win by, like, 20 or 21, but not the full 28. So take Nevada in the points. Over under is 67 and a half. I'm going to say go under. Oklahoma at Baylor. This would have been a great game last year. This year, <laughs> no, it's not even. Baylor just a gutted team at this point, losing games to Liberty. Uh, Oklahoma's going to win this one by a bunch. They're a 27 and a half point favorite. I think they actually could score more than that. Uh, I think they will score more than that just to make a point. Over under is 62 and a half. I think Oklahoma will probably score like 63 or 70 points alone. So definitely go above that. And, yeah, take the points for Oklahoma. They're, they're going to win a bunch, and uh, Baylor's going to get destroyed. San Diego State taking on Air Force, because it's the only kind of football we got in San Diego these days. San Diego's a, only a three-and-a-half point favorite. Uh, over is 47-and-a-half. Don't really know a whole lot about Air Force, to be honest with you, so they could pretty much throw anything out there. I'm going to say keep it slightly above 47-and-a-half, and... Yeah, I think San Diego wins by a touchdown. They can cover. So don't worry about that. Just go with the favorite and you'll be all right. Mississippi State is Georgia. Battle of the Bulldogs here. Uh, it's at Georgia. UJ is a five-point favorite. Calling the upset now. Mississippi State's going to win. I think they went outright. I don't think they went big. We're talking like double digits in this game. Over under is 40 and a half. It's going to be slightly above that. Mississippi State wins the upset. Take the points and move along. Syracuse at LSU. Obviously, LSU got wrecked by Mississippi State last week. So they're trying to get revenge. They are 23 and a half point favorites, but Syracuse not that bad of a team. Um, still, I think LSU wins. They win by like 14, 18 points, but 24 points is a little bit too high to me. So go with LSU to win outright. We give the points to Syracuse. Over under 56. Go slightly under. Penn State against Iowa. Um, yeah, Penn State's going to win this game. They're going to win by like 20 points. So just go ahead and take the, the line for them. It's 12 and a half. They'll cover that no problem. Over under is 52. Uh, 52. Yeah, I'm going to say go slightly under. I think it's going to be more of a defensive game than anything Penn State's played so far this year, but they still win. And they win pretty easily. So don't worry about that. They'll cover the spread. Florida against Kentucky. Kentucky undefeated, 4-1-1. Florida's only a two-and-a-half point favorite in this game. I just think it's a huge, huge uh, miscalculation. I think Florida wins by at least a touchdown, so they're going to cover the spread easy. Over-under is 44. I'm going to go above that. Auburn against Missouri. Uh, Auburn's a 19-point favorite. 55-and-a-half for the over-under. Auburn wins, but they only win by like 14 or 13 points. So take Auburn to win outright. They go with the points for Missouri. Oregon against Arizona State. Oregon is a 16-point favorite. Uh, 75 over under. There's going to be a lot of points scored in this one, but I think Oregon can win by at least. Yeah, they can win by at least 16 points, so I'm not going to monkey with the spread there. Oregon wins. And lastly, Washington taking on Colorado. Washington's an 11 point favorite. Over under is 50 and a half. I'm going to go with Washington to win, but they only win by 6 points. So Colorado, give them the spread. Washington wins outright. Over, no, not over, under 50 and a half points. And those are my picks. And we got this in in under 10 minutes. I'm happy about that. Well, anyway, as always, remember, we do not condone illegal sports wagering, especially in college sports, in any way, shape, or form. If you want to go out there and ruin your life and your family and your entire financial situation, go out and put your money in the stock market where there's legal and there are far fewer safeguards because that's the right thing to do. All right, enjoy Saturday. I'll be seeing you in just a few.